Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number eight here in uh, unit seven. Um, so this is in lesson four, where we're actually supposed to be looking at Z scores here. So we have a question where we are given um, a count of peanuts um, that has a certain mean and a standard deviation. And it, the, the data is distributed normally and everything outside a certain range of, of counting peanuts per, per pound okay, are actually thrown out. So we'll just kind of set up a curve here so we, we can understand what we're looking at. So we'll do a normal distribution curve. Okay, and in the middle, we're told that the fancy grade of the peanuts have a count of 233. And we know the standard deviation here is 2.83 for every pound of raw peanuts. And then it says that the data is distributed normally and everything below a count of 227, okay, and everything above a count of 238 are considered waste. So if you think about what they're saying is that um, the parts below here are waste and then the part in the middle is the acceptable part. Okay, so there's, there's kind of two parts, to, two ways to look at that. Um, and the question is, we're looking to determine waste here. So the waste is actually going to be represented by the shaded parts here on the, on the curve. So well, there's a couple of ways we could approach this. Um, we could use the normal CDF function in, on, the ca on the calculator to basically calculate the area um, that is between the two values. And then um, we could subtract that from one and that would give us the waste. So let's actually sort of work that through here. So I could just use in one step, normal CDF um, is equal, for, equal to 227 to 238, um, mean of 233, standard deviation of 283, and that should equal 94.9446 approximately, or 94.46%. So that's the amount of peanuts that are acceptable. Okay, this is the acceptable amount. So that means the amount that is actually unacceptable, um, which is the waste, is equal to 100%, which is just 1.00, minus 0.9446, which is equal to 0.0554, or 5.54% are wasted. Okay, so that gives us um, the percentage um, of, for both things that we're looking at. Now, another way to do this question could be to calculate um, the Z score for the equivalent Z score for each of these values. Okay, so we could say the lower Z score, Z1, is equal to 227 minus 233 all over 2.83. That's from our formula. And then the higher Z score is equal to 238 minus 233 over 283. And we're gonna see our lower Z score is negative 2.12 and the higher score is 1.77. So instead of using the raw numbers in the normal CDF function, we could just put in our Z scores. Um, and remember, it, when we convert it to a Z score, that means the mean is zero um, and the standard deviation is one. So we've now standardized our scores. So this would give us the same kind of value here if I put this into the normal CDF function, which is, you still have to use it. It's just that we're using it in terms of Z scores. So it's negative 2.12 to 1.77. And if we do that with our calculator, we're going to get the same answer, 0.9446. Okay, so either, either way would work. Um, I prefer to use the first way, um, even though this lesson said is implying that you maybe should use Z scores or do that Z score calculation. But this just allows us to get um, the percentage um, 
either acceptable or the waste right off the bat just by plugging the, the, the actual data in. So then we just have to calculate here um, how many pounds of waste peanuts if we're having metric tons. So they've kind of given made this a little bit complicated. Um, we are looking for waste. So we know the percentage of the waste is 5.54%. So we have 273 metric tons. Okay, so this is one of those ones you're gonna have to look up the conversion for. If you do a, a search, an online search for this, you'll find that um, a metric ton or MT, one metric ton, which will cancel this, is equal to 2,204.62 six two three pounds okay so we're going from metric ton to pounds and then we're just going to take five percent of that so zero five five four so if we work that out completely you will get somewhere around thirty three thousand um, four hundred and eleven pounds now i think it just depends how many decimals you carry this to that's the one that's given in the key um, if we do 273 times 2204.623 times 0 0.0554, I get actually 33,343 pounds. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy here. It's probably just due to the number of digits we carry forward. Um, but we're looking at roughly about 33,000 pounds of waste here. Okay, so that's how you would do that question. And um, you would, the, the piece of information here that they would have to give you if you were doing this on a quiz or a test, they'd have to give you the conversion. It's either on a table um, or you'd have to have it somewhere stated in the question. Otherwise, that's something you'd have to be able to look up if you didn't know that value.